Good afternoon. My name is uh, Deanne Mayo. I'm from Lac du Flambeau. I'm our tribal vice president currently. Um, Jim asked me to be a part of this panel, which I'm honored to do so to just reflect back on my history dealing with our treaty rights. Like I've heard up here on the panels before me and also this panel. And I guess listening to Sonny, I am that generation that was uh, when the treaty rights were at its pretty much heat up in the North Woods and in the mid 80s, late 80s. Uh, we weren't taught a lot about our treaties through grade school and also high school. Uh, I learned pretty quickly of the impact of the treaty rights. Uh, in my senior year of high school, it, it was a hard time, but moving ahead, I've learned from those experiences. I brought my two children here today. I was watching the webcast yesterday and I was watching Tom up here speaking and that just reminded me of a lot of hard feelings that we had in our community, our surrounding community, and in our high school. I had walked in one day in one of our English classes and two teachers were talking about how bad it is the Indians are, are killing all the deer. It happened to be uh, a, uh, my English teachers and also one was uh, married to a very activist in the par uh, group. I was very voiceful back then as I am today, but some of my friends just could not handle that kind of environment. They just dropped out of school. I was I was in an environmental science class and I had a very vocal, outspoken teacher that also decided one day to um, debate the Indian treaty rights and also just being an Indian and I walked into the class that day and he had the room separated. And he said, we're going to debate these issues today. And of course, I don't turn down any debates. And I said, fine, if, if this is an opportunity to educate my classmates from three to four years, I'm going to take it and I'm going <clears> to <throat> let them know what the true facts are. And although his showcase was spear fishing at that time, most of the questions from the rest of the class was, uh, we heard you Indians get everything free. You get free housing, free cars. You all, you're all on EFDC. So it was an opportunity to, to tell them the facts the best they could. So that was my introduction to treaties. And I uh, graduated from high school and then I with my significant other <laughs> and we actively um, exercised our treaty rights and, and uh, went out to get our fish. And that's when the landings were really hostile. So again, I was woken up to the reality of how racial, how misinformed. So that inspired me um, to, to go on and see what I could do to help educate and help try to minimize the impacts to the future kids and generations so they don't have to go through that again. That pushed me to get involved with the natural resource field. So I went into our fisheries program as a technician and started giving back what I thought was what I've taken, I guess that's what we were taught. You, if you're going to take something, you 
have to find a way to give something back. If it's through doing the work in that area, if it's through going out to speak and stand up for those things, those are the ways that you give back and fight for what is right. Um, I continued on through those years uh, in our water resource program, working for our environmental department, because with those rights, does come a responsibility to protect those rights.